Sometimes people ask, what does Chi Alpha look like on campus? Well, we have large group gatherings for worship and teaching. We have small group discipleship uh, groups for men and women on a weekly basis. Uh, we have service projects, uh, social activities on campus. And then another huge part of our program is our seasonal retreats, sometimes during the fall, sometimes in the spring. Uh, every winter, we have an event called SALT, and they happen in regions all over the country where students gather from multiple campuses. Today, I'm here with some of our local missionaries from Missouri State University, Andy and Severin. Good to see you guys. It's good seeing you, Chris. Good to be here. Well, uh, you guys are a part of, of taking teams of students to SALT on a regular basis. Why is SALT so valuable and important in the life of a student? I think SALT is, there's so many things going on. Obviously, the exposure to the speakers and just the larger community, uh, the fellowship of other students going through the same experiences they're going through and and all the while just loving on God and getting to know how great He is. And so this, uh, for us, it's being able to expose them to people other than us mm -hmm. that are able to speak into their lives and other students as well. So it's always a powerful time. So there's great large group gatherings, awesome worship, you know, maybe breakouts that uh, deal with student topics, things that are relevant to, you know, life in college. But we're also talking about you know, inviting friends to come to know Christ as their Lord and Savior, seeing friends baptized in the Spirit. At a, at a recent SALT that you guys attended, there was an international student, I believe, from China. Mm -hmm. Jason was his name. Talk Jason. a little bit about what God did in Jason's life. Well, Jason, Jason had been with us two years ago. He had given his heart to the Lord, and so he became a Christian, and he's involved, one of our student leaders. And, and so uh, he came to SALT, obviously, with a lot of questions about the Holy Spirit. And so there was a night that we were praying for students to get baptized in the Holy Spirit. And I actually had to go find him and say, hey, dude, you need to come. And so after asking many questions, we prayed for him and he immediately started praying in tongues. And uh, that, was, that was really significant for him because over the period of two years, I'd continue to talk to him about it. But now he, he was willing to go beyond just the, I don't understand this to, okay, God, I'll trust you, and, but I want more of you. So it was really significant. He's one of our, um, uh, our student leaders and very influential in our group. So it was great seeing him getting baptized in the Holy Spirit. It's cool. We love it when students understand and come to the reality of what, a, what the fullness of, of the Spirit is all about, the power that comes with uh, um, you know, that prayer language and, and really the inspiration to, to be bold in their witness on right. campus. Right. Um, so that's fun with regard to students, but at this particular salt, God did something in your life as well, on a, kind of on a supernatural plane. Yeah, yeah. You've been uh, uh, dealing with a back issue for the better part of 11 years. Talk a little bit about how that's been kind of a uh, uh, disability, I guess, to you. Well, you know, for, you know, 11 years having problems with my back has, has uh, once really slowed me down my whole life. I've been an athlete, so, so I started having problems with my back. Uh, in fact, my wife has, always known me with that, you know, it's like I'm the guy that she married and I had a back problems. And, uh, but, uh, it, you know, it, it stopped me from doing a lot of things that I really wanted to do. Um, so over 11 years, it, I just feel like my back problems have continued to increase. And um, I started out as like a just scoliosis, which is a curvature of the spine. Mm -hmm. And, um, but then continued to develop to where there was, uh, there was a lot more pain in uh, not just the spine, uh, but it was more my muscles and my back too, so a lot of spasms, and, and I've seen many doctors, great chiropractors, and, and done MRIs and x-rays, and it just didn't seem like anything was working, and I took a lot of different medication drugs, and, and uh, some of them I just really got tired of doing or taking them because it just wasn't working, but what stayed was that I'd end up stretching about three times in a day, mm -hmm. uh, but it was really debilitating. What Right, really, I think it got magnified is after we started having kids. So we've got three kids, a four-year-old girl and a two-year-old boy. <laughs> Chasing after and those guys, right? Yeah, yeah. Chasing after them. But you know, it's like I get home every day and my kids walk, run, run to the door and want to give me a big hug. And my daughter's like, I don't want a piggyback ride. I'm like, I can't. I can't, can't do, do that. I can't carry you. I can't. So there's a lot of things I was always telling them I couldn't do. Mm -hmm. um, so that really really messed up a lot of the things I wanted to do with my kids. Sure. Um, and Andy, you as a personal friend and a co-worker on campus at, at Missouri State saw, you know, Severin dealing with these kinds of issues. Uh, then at SALT, you know, God kind of moved on your heart to, to uh, talk to Severin and talk to students about surrounding him and, and asking God to really intervene with this back issue. Yeah, that's what makes SALT uh, very powerful is just uh, all these students coming together and, uh, you know, the speaker that was speaking was really encouraging, healing, and uh, things like that, which is something we discuss as a leadership team on 
uh, allowing that to, to happen more in our, in our group. And um, we we're, were really praying. And one of the services actually right uh, right before the service was starting, um, they, you know, they went up and they're like, hey, look, you know, if somebody needs a healing, let's pray for them. And uh, at that time, you know, uh, I, I got together, I was, I was looking for Savo and Savo was uh, uh, Skyping, trying to uh, get a hold of his family back at home. It was his only opportunity to do that. And uh, just really, I, I kind of sensed it that I'm at the end of this service, I'm gonna get this whole group together and, and we're gonna pray for Savo. And it, it, it was something, uh, it was my first time experiencing everything that Savo has to do for his back. Uh, he wakes up in the morning for 10, 15 minutes because me and him were in the same room. Uh, and he has to stretch out his back. Uh, and then in the middle of the day, I walk in, he's stretching out his back mm -hmm. at night. And even throughout, you know, uh, you know, doing ministry together, hanging out together, uh, we'll, you know, we'll always constantly be praying for his back. His back will hurt some days and you can see, and he still operates in it. You know, he, he, he was just, he'll move forward and you know, he's feeling the pain and, you know, he, he kind of just, you know, just moves forward and still is used tremendously by God. But first time experience it, how much it takes, right. how much effort right. it took just so he can function normally because mm -hmm. his back just hurts so much at times. So you pulled the students together, yeah. Jason, who had just gotten baptized in the spirit or some of the other internationals yeah. in the room. And what did you guys just begin to lay hands on him? What did that look like? Yeah, we got together. and I was, I was really honest with the students. I was like, hey, guys, this, this is the first time as a group that we're going to get together because somebody has an, it's something he's been dealing with 11 years and Savo didn't even know we we're going to do this. He was kind of off their side. We, we got together and uh, some of these students have experienced it, but I would say maybe 30% of the students, this is the first time them experiencing the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. uh, and the baptism of the Holy Spirit and then laying hands on somebody and praying for them for to healing. be healed. Yeah. So, you know, we, we kind of get together and we, we just start praying. Uh, for Savo and uh, we're praying and then um, we, we pray for like five minutes and mm -hmm. then uh, we, we pull back and you know uh, I was real nervous to ask but I was like hey Savo you know how hey, does your back feel and uh, right away uh, you know Savo responds with uh, the first time they asked me that I was you know I hadn't I didn't sense anything and, and keep in mind this so there's 30 students, you know, laying their hands on your back and you've had back problems. So that's a lot of weight, <laughs> you know, so you're thinking, oh, so they God. were contributing. To I know pain, they were. Right? So I'm thinking, God, I, I need you to heal me twice, you know, heal my current problems. But the one that they'll create by laying hands on me. And but then there's something else going on. You're thinking over a period of 11 years, you've been praying for the same thing. And honestly, sometimes your, your, your faith is just lacking. You're wondering, God, do you really want to? Right, and you get to this right. point where you believe, well, this is probably something I'm going to have to live with. And uh, so when you bring in students that you're discipling and you have to explain to stuff, so it took a lot of guts for Andy to ask them to pray. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, God, you really need to show up because right. there's so much at stake. And um, So did you go for round two? What happened? Yeah, well, you know, he pulls, he's like, you know, I, I didn't, you know, I didn't really feel any, you know, anything. So we're like, all right. Let's, let's pray again. And, uh, you know, we, we start laying hands. And uh, at that moment, while we're praying for it, I, you know, I hear just somebody just speaking in the spirit and speaking in tongues so loudly. And, you know, it almost got my attention. I'm looking over and I see Jason, who just got filled with the Holy Spirit, just praying away, man. Uh, and, it, you know, the, the, the Chinese culture is a very meek and very, you know, kind of quiet culture. And for right. him to be praying that loud in yeah. it, uh, Man, we, we just prayed and we prayed for another five, 10 minutes and then we, we pull back and, uh, you know, again, we asked Savo, it's like, hey, Savo, you, know, uh, you know, what did you feel? What did you hear? Right. And, you know, when, when Jason was praying at that point, I'm still having this kind of conversation with God. I was like, God, you really need to show up, but I do trust you. And even if you don't heal me, I'll still trust you. I'm just, you know, working through this in, in, in my heart and Jason's praying in tongues. I remember telling God, even if you don't heal me, I'll take this. This is, this is worth this it. This is good. Um, and uh, so, but they continue praying for me and I really start just sensing the power of God wow. and in a very tangible way. Mm -hmm. So in a sense, it's like, I don't know how I can explain it. I was more like jerking and my body was kind of shaking. Interesting. And, um, and I was like, wow, but I couldn't really tell the difference in my back. And, but at the same time, I just kept feeling God was saying, Hey, I, he, he was speaking to me and saying, Savo, you'll get home. You'll go home without any pain. But for me, that's huge. I've never been able to get back home from work mm -hmm. to my wife, either to help her or just be there at home without having to tell her, hey, honey, my, my back hurts. I need to take some pills. I need to stretch. I need to lay down. 
or tell my kids I can't do something. Right. So for God to tell me that was huge. So when Andy asked, well, how are you feeling? I told him I felt God's presence. I also sensed God telling me that I'll go home without any pain. Wow, so and it's been a couple of weeks since Salt now. What's, what's, what's the story? Well, got home, I mean, before we got home, so what ended up happening is that I, I shared that with the students and um, they were excited. They said, well, we'll ask you first thing in the morning. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, uh, God, you really need to show up. I believe in you. And so I carried a whole bunch of stuff. You know, I normally don't carry stuff. And uh, so I, you know, helped tear down equipment, carry stuff, and I didn't stretch. And I was just more like, God, I want to really see if you've healed me, then I don't want, I, I want to know you've done it. And so, uh, so I went to the room, I, I slept, and I'd wake up like every hour. It's like I was waking up every hour. Most of the pain, pain I'd feel it at night. Every hour I'm waking up to, say, to see you know, how's my back, and mm -hmm. there's no pain, no muscle spasms. You know, it's just weird inside so every hour until about six o'clock. And uh, uh, at that point, I was like, God, you've healed me. It's done. Praise I just don't have any pain. And I've never really experienced this for, this is 11 years. Sure. So it was, it was, it was, it was a little surreal. Yeah. And um, Andy walked in the room, told him, and the room just got crazy. We were just worshiping God, oh, yeah. thanking God. Our other roommate, Jordan, was also there. And, and, you know, we continued to talk about how great God is, that God did this for a reason. Uh, and in everything he does, it's, it really, it is for his glory. Amen. And um, what was significant uh, for us, for me, I was healed. Yeah. Uh, fast forward, I went home. My daughter ran to me at the door. I gave her a ride uh, back. I gave her a ride. I gave her a piggyback ride. <laughs> and uh, the next day, I walked That's like awesome. four blocks with her on my back, you know, playing with my kids. And I'm, you know, honey doodles has, has really increased now yeah. that my back is, is feeling better. Um, but, uh, but I think there's something greater, too, that happened was that, that everybody that was there, the students that prayed, Curtis, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we would ask them, so what was significant for you at Salt? And they were like, Savo, I prayed for you. I personally prayed for you. Yeah. I believed in God. Saw God use me. And I saw God use me. He answered my prayers That's and awesome. you were healed. Yeah. And, um, you know, we can talk about healing. We can talk about the power of God. But you do that put them in a, in a situation like that where God actually shows up when they, and, and they experience it. Yeah. Um, there's, there's nothing like it. And so I, I, I almost talk about our, my healing, kind of like our healing, because mm -hmm. there was other students that, there's so much that God was doing for his glory. I, um, you know, there's a student called Juice, got filled with the Holy Spirit as he was laying hands on me. Juice like orange juice? Juice like orange juice. Yeah. Um, that's, that's what we call him. That's what he called. That's what we call him. <laughs> and so he's praying for it me and, and he's speaking in English, then he starts speaking in tongues. So yeah. he's, he's filled with the Holy Spirit. Wow. Yeah. Which is really awesome. And the other students who, who um, and, and even some of us who had just over time, you know, you get kind of skeptical about things and you think that some people abuse the whole thing about healing. and. And so you, you're wondering, how do I communicate to the students? And do I really believe this stuff? And I just really feel like God was really healing us in our hearts to, to start to believe in Him, that He did this so we can put our faith in Him and Amen. continue to believe Him. Well, hey, you know, salt's great for students. Obviously, salt's great for staff. Oh, and, yeah. You know, that's really Chi Alpha's heart. Our desire is to see the life of a student transformed. And as that happens, then they can be a part of seeing transformational things happen in the lives of others, not only on their university campus, but in the marketplace and, and really all around the globe. So thank you guys for coming today. Thanks for sharing your, a little bit of your story. Thanks thank for you. giving us a perspective on our retreats and conferences like salt. But even more than that, just the reality of knowing God in a personal way and seeing God move supernaturally in our lives. That's what Chi Alpha is all about.